So, Daddy, mm. how do you like the cranberry salad? Pretty good, mm. huh? Very good. <laughs> I made the stuffing. Mm. Do you like it? Tasty. Cheryl, would you like some? The, my great-grandmother, the uh, favorite dish was her sweet potato pie. And uh, I just, I mean, I can just taste it as I'm talking to you. I could just taste it like it was yesterday. And uh, I remember when she passed away, uh, the, the first holiday, I asked my mother, she said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make mama's pie. And, you know, so every, everybody would feel like we're, you know, still all together. And we were like, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we were at the table and she made the pie. And, and nobody was eating it. We were all looking around. She was like, well, well so how does everybody enjoy the pie? And uh, I think it was my uncle that said, well, this don't taste like mama's pie. <laughs> then we all just started, you know, laughing. And uh, I've been wanting to taste my great-grandmother's sweet potato pie for 15-some years now, and no one can make it. So that was kind of the foundation of this, this story of, you know, of, of, of this pie, of losing someone and then wanting to reconnect with them through 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 the the, the, the uh, sensation of taste. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. What's up? Oh, hey. You must be Naya. We haven't been properly introduced. I'm Malachi. Nice to meet you. Let me grab these bags. I got it. Don't bother. Let me help you with your bags. Why? Because I'm a woman, I can't help myself? Well, Gabrielle has been in a million movies, first of all. So, you know, she brings in not only her, what she does in front of the camera, but she brings in a wealth of experience behind the camera. So as many times I go to Gab and say, you know, you know, I'm in a tight spot. I mean, either, you know, don't have enough time or I need to figure out how to cover it. And I would just go in and Gab and whisper and say, you know, what would you do here? What have you experienced been done? And she would, you know, hey, you may want to try this, this and that and the other. So it was good uh, having her not only in front of the camera, but having uh, somebody that I could, you know, lean on behind the camera as well. You all should feel like a bunch of dumbasses. No, Aunt May, I came you know, here with just, the purest of intentions. You are just grown, straight up women. delusional. Shut up! You're the one being shut, shut, shut up! Your daddy too damn old for all this. Now, if y'all don't get your asses in that kitchen and apologize right now, I'm kicking everybody's ass in here. This movie's for everybody. You know, this movie is for uh, uh, black people, white people, anybody with a family. Anybody with a family that, if it's anything like my family is uh, has a healthy amount of dysfunction you know the saying is you can you can choose your friends but you can't choose your family right so I, I think what what makes me feel the best about this movie is that we're not making an african-american movie we're making a movie that happens to have african-american actors in it but it's it's a universal story